Hi, sixth grade. Uh, here we are back again. We are going to be jumping into our next, or I guess our first, big assignment. So when you got your packet of papers for this particular school year and your box of supplies, um, one of those pieces of paper was brown a brown sheet of construction paper. And that brown piece of construction paper is gonna be our first like big project that we're going to work on for multiple weeks. However, before we jump in, we're gonna do a few practice drawings first. So that's where our sketchbook comes in. In your sketchbook, you are going to flip past your swatches and past your amazing, um, you know, first sketchbook page doodle and you're going to open up to the next clean sheet. This particular clean sheet is going to be practice drawings. Emphasis on practice. So if you do have little dots from the sharpie from the page before like I did, um, don't worry about it. You can just ignore it. Up in the corner you are going to go ahead and put the date. You want the month and the day and the year. Like so. Month, day, year. And on this page, we are going to be doing cactus research. If you were around at Walker last year in the fall as a fifth grader, you probably saw a lot of pictures of cactus or cacti out in the hallway or in the art room. Um, as you all know, Mrs. Dominic is very, um, fond of cacti. Um, I mean, look, the front of my sixth grade notebook is cacti, right? I love succulents. I have a huge succulent garden, but what I like about them is that they are made of simple shapes. Okay. So they are very easy to draw. So for this week, you're going to be doing research, which means you're going to go on to your tablet and you're going to type into a simple internet search, a Google search, um, cactus drawings. You can try cactus drawings simple. You can try cactus drawings pencil. You can, but really all you need to do are cactus drawings. Okay, so I went ahead and did that bef on my iPad before we started today. Sorry if the screen looks dirty. And many of these cactus drawings are really just an assortment of basic shapes and they are very simple lines. What I want you to do is... Um, pick out some cactus drawings that are different shapes. I don't want you to draw me six cactuses that all look like this. That's not particularly helpful. You can have one cactus that looks like this, but not all cacti look like that, you know, strong man sort of shape, you know. Some of them are short and blobby. Some of them are, you know, big clumps like this or have pointed ends like this, like a Haworthia. You, you want to find an assortment. Some cacti even look like trees, like this thing. Okay, so what I want you to practice drawing are different types of cacti. So if you find the ones, ladies and gentlemen, that look like the flowers, that's a succulent. Um, we're not going to do that. You can practice drawing them, but we won't ch be choosing ones like that for our final project. Um, but you, you want to focus more on cacti. So if they have tines on them or, you know, prickers, pokes, whatever, that's what I want you to uh, stick with focus on whatever. So I'm just going to pick a page here with an assortment of cacti shapes and I'm going to do a little bit of drawing. 
Um, for those of you who are more number oriented, I would say try to do at least, um, let's go with six to eight cactus shapes. Okay, that's going to be our focus. Six to eight cactus shapes. Here, let's go for this. Okay, they can be simple and cartoony like this. That works just fine for me. Um, but this is what we want and you're going to try and practice drawing them. Okay. Don't worry so much about the flower pot. Okay, once you have an assortment of cacti shapes, the second thing you're going to do a little bit of research on is uh, cactus colors. So for this, you're going to look up actual pictures of cactus. So you could put in there cactus uh, colors. So not all cacti are the same color. Some of them come in, um, some of them come in really expected colors and some of them come in unexpected colors. So seeing like a cactus that looks almost blue is a possibility. These ones that are like dark blue or bright pink, things like that, that is not a natural cactus color, but this blue type color is. Um, a lot of cacti are like uh, greenish or yellowish, um, but you do run into from time to time like a pink cactus. Uh, or cacti that have like these orangey type colors to them. So for this project, I am going to let you, oh, here's a purplish one, that's cool. I am going to let you um, experiment with the color because a regular standard green cactus, it, that's not always the case. This cactus has not been tampered with. This is just a photograph um, and it will like change colors based on its environment, the amount of water it gets, the amount of sunlight it gets. It will change colors. Sometimes they change for the season. So what I want you to do for this is you're going to pick a coloring medium. We will eventually be doing this with your oil pastel excuse me, your oil pastels, but I would pick a coloring medium that you prefer. One of the ones you had swatched out last week and you're going to um, try out some color combinations. For every cactus, you need one light, one dark, and one medium tone. So here's what I mean by that. Maybe for like, say I just was going for green, right? I have a thousand greens. You obviously probably don't have that many, but that's fine. Um, I'm going to go for, let's go for teal. Here's going to be my medium teal. This is going to be, I think my light teal and we'll make this my dark teal, okay? Right? 
Yeah, let's go for that. So if we make this my medium teal here. No, actually, I lied. This one. That makes more sense to me. Okay, so if this is my light teal, I'm going to start by putting my lightest color on one side of my cactus section. And my medium color in the middle. And my dark color on the other side. And then I'm going to want to blend a little. So that means overlapping into either side. This color comes over here. And this color comes over here. So we're just blending it across. Light, medium, dark, and blend it out. Okay, my dark needs to be a little darker. Ooh, it broke. Oh no. Do I have another one? This color maybe? Yeah, this will work. Okay, so light, medium, and dark, right? So for this, I would go ahead and say like if these things had colors, this is chrome oxide green, blue something pale, and vert jade, which just means jade. Okay. And I would say, okay, there's one color combination. I might even swatch them right here to be like light, medium, and dark, you know? If you're feeling extra fancy, you could trace your, your drawing lines so that they still show up. You know, you could use a or something to make your tines go back in. You can write on here too. Like you might want to say on here, um, you know, uh, spikes only in ridges. Or like all spikes go up. You know, you are making notes for yourself based on your drawing. You're testing color combinations, you're testing shapes, you're making notes for yourself around the page. Okay, once you've done that and you've filled the page, your research is done. Next week, we'll choose our best one and we'll get it on the brown paper. But for now, just do this much.